Good morning. It is officially leave for Nashville day. Good morning, Mitty Ginnagy. It is 6.30 in the morning. Made some coffee. I got a pack because I was too exhausted to do it yesterday and I'm hoping to be on the road by 7, which is not going to happen because it's 6.30 already, but hopefully 7.30. But I've got everything I need. I just had to put it into a suitcase or a bag. So let's get packing. Dropped all my rings down the sink. you guys this lighting is awful the sun's coming literally directly at me but we are on the road we are packed coffee from KT my last where is it where'd it go my last quick trip breakfast sandwich my last quick trip for the next five days sad bacon egg and cheese croissant Ooh, dropped it Fuck, son of a nutcracker bacon egg and cheese croissant as always Let's hit the road, you guys. Nashville, here we come. So I'm driving through Illinois right now, which by the way, is one of the worst states to have to drive through top to bottom because there's literally nothing. There is not even a decent amount of exits. I've had to pee for like 20 minutes and I'm just in a gas station, it's fine. But, random thought while driving. Wouldn't it be cool if the trucks that have the coffee on the side, I know they're hauling gasoline, but like, wouldn't it be cool if the trucks that are advertising for truck stops with big coffees on the side, if that whole tanker was coffee? I'd follow it wherever it's going. I think that would be beautiful. That would be, that would be wonderful. That would be absolutely wonderful. Coffee in a giant tanker. Also, it's 42 degrees outside, but the sun's beating in my car and I'm sweating and I can't get a comfortable temperature, so that's fine. <laughs> Gas was literally, uh, gas is 3.49 in, where am I, Illinois, <laughs> I forgot where it was, 3.49, there's no reason, there's literally no reason for gas to be $3.49, zero reason, zero, 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 zero reason. On another note, I'm getting some chicken nuggets, also sorry this chicken nugget just swings, I'm gonna have to move the camera I think. Tucked him away. I was like, I don't really need fries, but I want a Diet Coke. This is just cheaper to get the meal. And I don't know when I'm gonna eat dinner tonight. Also, send my Airbnb lady a message because I got her check-in instructions and it says that kitchen access isn't allowed. And there's a mini fridge in my room, but no microwave. So I brought like, I bought like just cracking egg things for breakfast and was planning on, I can usually make two meals out of one, like when I order takeout. So if I can't use the microwave, I might have to find a different Airbnb place because that's weird. Gotta love Diet Coke. All right, waiting for my nuggets. I'm gonna get those and then back on the road. Here we go. Right, we have 
made it to the Airbnb. Per usual, I already have my stuff everywhere. Nice bed, nice and clean. Nice little lit bathroom, hello. Oh, my little fuzzy's in the way. Are you still in the way? Oh no, this is in the way, because I broke it. Might have to take a bubble bath, not gonna lie. Nice steamed up shower, very nice, very clean, very bright. All right, time to get settled in and get some stuff done. Hello everyone. I have showered. I have food on the way. I talked to Derek for a little while and uh, sent my songs in to hopefully perform at the Expo Friday night. And I think I'm gonna do some writing after I get my food. That sounds good. And then I think I'm going to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I know I said good night earlier, but I just wanted to show you my dinner. I got some pad thai. With the seafood, so there's squid, shrimp, scallops, yum, love. Good morning. got a cup for my coffee and I don't know if they have ice downstairs oh man the joys of traveling and I love Airbnbs I love Airbnbs but sometimes um, you don't always know exactly what you're getting and I'm a pretty like personable whatever like person but I also don't like creeping around people's kitchens I don't really really don't know so I guess I'm just having my iced coffee without ice in my water bottle I got the Starbucks cold brew vanilla sweet cream I figured this will save me from getting at least two or three coffees a day and having to pay for them because I usually drink one or two at home and then in the afternoon I usually make another coffee or I drink a bubbler which I also did bring bubblers or I have my brain hurts this morning or I have another coffee like I go to Dunkin or something so <sighs> one coffee here or there during the day during the week isn't bad but when I'm traveling for five days and I have to buy coffee three times a day that's a lot of coffee it there's it says there's three servings in here I call bullshit pretty good Whew. went for a walk felt good I'm gonna make some of my just crack an egg because I can use the microwave thank goodness and then I think I decided what song I'm gonna use to pitch to publishers it's all right breakfast time <laughs> to go we got our OOTD one of my pink pistol shirts from Lundell Texas we got my Reese's jeans on nice and comfy and oh I don't have my shoes on yet but I'm gonna be wearing my sparkly slip-ons a little bit of lint scents from my girl I have the Manhattan mauve and the bombshell diamond layered every other with some glossy gloss because I didn't want to go too dark but the bombshell's too light so that's what we got. Time to head to recording. We're recording. That was a struggle getting my camera back up on that thing. There's gotta be an easier way. All right, it is cold out. I know like in Wisconsin right now, it's also really cold. Stopped and treated myself and got a little Starbucks. I think I got a brown sugar latte, cinnamon, I don't know. It smells like fall and it smells good. Oh yeah, right in the feels. 
So I'm gonna be like super early for recording, but I am just anxious to like get there. So even if I'm just like there early, sitting outside, whatever, I don't really care. And you never know what kind of traffic you're gonna hit. I could hit really stupid traffic on the way. I'm just gonna leave early, take my time. Cheers. Mark, you've lost some sleep and raised a family. Work two jobs or three. Dear cowgirl, you're strong. You look fate in the face each day and tell it that it's wrong. Dear cowgirl. Hello, y'all. Went to the Commodore. Ended up running in some, into some friends. Had some dinner with Dan Lapine. Ran into some more friends. Stopped and got a place home that I've never had before. And uh, I'm feeling inspirational. So I think I'm gonna do some songwriting. But it's been a good day, y'all. Also, side note, I don't have any glasses for this. So I might be drinking them out of the bottle. morning. I have already gone for a walk. I have showered, made one of my just cracking eggs, oh, and I've got about 45 minutes before I gotta go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drive to Broadway with my friend Dan Lopine. You guys, some of you guys probably know him. Uh, he's a male country artist out of uh, like the Oconomowoc area in Wisconsin. Um, I just show on Broadway today, which is awesome. So I told him I'd come, I can only come see him for like an hour, um, but I told him I could see him and take some pictures for him and a little bit of video and whatnot because I don't have anything to do this morning until 1 o'clock. So I just wanted to say hello, good morning, and I'm actually going to end this vlog here and start a new one. So look for Nashville Part 2 getting put up soon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!